Hey my beautiful queens, welcome to today's video. I am quickly talking because load shedding is about to hit us, but welcome to today's video. I am working with um, Beauty Forever. They've sent me this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous unit and I have styled it, installed it, and this is what we're looking like. So if you're interested, please stay tuned and let's get right into today's video. All right guys, let's get started. Um, so first of all, this is what the unit looks like absolutely absolutely gorgeous um i have had a wig this color before and it was actually my favorite wig but it got damaged eventually i think from like the coloring and the bleaching and stuff but this wig looks like really really good quality so what i've done is i did go ahead and customize the wig like i always do so i've bleached my knots um and i've plucked it as well i have however did not leave the bleach in for too long because i don't want the same mistake <laughs> like my last wig install because this is color it would have been um a lot harder for me to um correct it if i made any mistakes but absolutely love it so it's this like um i think is it auburn um reddish orangish um color it looks very like burgundy on your side i think because of the lighting but yeah it's like this red um orangey tone and the color job on this is absolutely impeccable i must say though that um coloring hair always just degrades the quality of your wigs and i can feel it in this one it is a tad bit like dry in the ends to be honest um after washing it i did um run my dyson era through it as well just to straighten it out and this is a body wave um wig so yeah it will look very nice very pretty with some curls so hopefully that is what we are doing today if i don't do curls like take it back to that wavy look um i think i'll do an updo maybe like those 90s inspired updos um yeah we'll see how we go in terms of time so let's get started i've already slicked my hair um down with some gel so my edges are protected and part of the gifts that you get with purchasing the hair is wig caps and the nice thing about these wig caps guys I don't know if you can see there they literally look like um, stockings so you know how I've started using um, stockings as opposed to wig caps for my bulk cap method um, because it is very sheer it is very thin and yeah it just makes like blending um, a lot easier what beauty forever and I think quite a lot of like hair companies nowadays are coming up with are these stocking type wig caps as opposed to the traditional um, thick ones and this is kind of sort of like what we are working with literally looks like um, a stocking and it is very thin and I like that um, although this is a bit um, lighter than my skin tone it is kind of like transparent in a sense and I'm sure putting um, makeup on it is gonna help it blend really nicely so let's just pop that on oh I love this like you can literally see everything that is going on underneath oh I forgot one step I am gonna go in with um, some wipes and I'm gonna remove my makeup in the parameters of my hairline just so that area is clean and we get a nice like um, stick down. I'm gonna cut um, the stocking at the back of my ears. Just so it can lay flat make it easier to apply the glue I am gonna go in with um, my glamour beauty spray You 
need to make sure that it is dry like not a little bit but like dry dry before you cut so it seems like it's dry now you want to cut as close to your hairline as possible This wig cap is um, slightly small. I am usually a size small in wig caps and this is a small but it's very very tight. So yeah, just bear that in mind. What I'm going to do next is just cut off um, sections because I want to work in sections. It makes it a lot easier. Just pull it back like that. Perfect. I am not using glue. I'm actually going to go in with my um, got to be child. I, I'm sort of a glueless girl. I prefer not to use glue only for the simple reason that it is such a mission to clean up afterwards. So unless I'm like going on holiday and I know that I need my wig to last me for a number of days I just use got to be um, and my glamour beauty spray anyway okay wait I need to put this somewhere from my hands so I don't get too much on and you're just gonna lay that try avoiding the cap the bold cap that you did so put it directly on your skin because if you don't it might lift and we don't want that so I'm literally just putting like a very little and I'm trying my best to like even it out then we're gonna go in with a blow dryer I think it's a bit tacky now. And then I'm gonna pull my wig forward. guys so because this wig is slightly small it is giving me such big problems gluing down the sides but I've tried to sort of like work with it and another thing that I don't like is that I didn't actually show you guys the closure isn't like a full it's not so it's not like completely a 13 by 4 on the sides it's 13 by 4 in the middle and then the sides are much shorter and if you guys can see here the way it's sitting right now it is i feel like it's too it's too forward <laughs> making my forehead look really tiny but at the same time if i cut like if i make the lace um if i cut it back then i'm cutting into hair that's already short there so i'm not too sure how i'm gonna handle this situation but let's see we'll figure it out i am i want to spray it now everything down I think I think we should put on our little melting band on um, 
this came with the hair it says there <laughs> bt forever if you guys can see and guys please don't mind the lighting change the sun is setting on me this is taking me longer than i expected and now yeah we're gonna have sort of like different lighting but that's fine and then i haven't even decided if i'm gonna do like curls am i doing an updo am i doing a middle part am I doing what am I doing? But I think we should do an updo, right? I feel like that'll be something very different. Something I've never done um, on a hair review. And this hair is just perfect for it. Yeah. While this sort of like melts down, I think I'm going to start working on... Um, the updo I want to do <laughs> the updo I want to do so I'm just gonna part the hair
have something here. <laughs> um, this is what we are looking like. Whew. This was a bit of a challenge, you know, getting it done, but this is what we are looking like. Very cute, girly, 90s um, inspired type of um, sort of like updo. And then I obviously went ahead. Oops, I need to pin that as well. I am so scared to see what's going on at the back, so I'm not even going to show you guys because just in case it's a hot mess. But this is cute! Oh my gosh, I love it! Mm. <laughs> um, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I'm obviously speeding up because I'm rushing against the clock, but remember to subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you in my next one. Love you! And all the details are down below in the description box.